Hey guys, Philip with Royal Range USA here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, today we actually have Century in the house and they brought us the TP9 Elite Combat to take a look at and do some shooting today. And uh, we have a couple of these in our retail uh, space also and it bang for your buck in my opinion guys this is one of the better options out on the market and we're going to walk through some of the details uh, and why i feel that way um, so obviously right out of the box um, we know this is a collaboration between um, century and salient and some of the different features so gun is unloaded chambers clear magazines out magazines are loaded guys so i'm not going to put the mags uh, in it until we're ready to shoot um, so as far as collaboration with Salient, let's point out what they contributed to the pistol first off. First is going to be your barrel. You're going to see uh, obviously some cool kind of slab work and design in there and then it is a fluted barrel and threaded barrel. They also contributed the thread protector up front, the magazine or mag well in the bottom of the gun which gives you uh, a really great opening to feed those magazines in quickly. Um, Magwells are becoming more and more popular. And they have uh, contributed the night sights, or rather just uh, fiber optic sights. So it's a solid black rear sight and with a red fiber optic front sight. And you can change out that fiber optic uh, piece in the front. So I believe there's actually comes with the gun uh, a green and maybe a lighter colored, like more orange color. So some of the contributions from Canik. You have one of the biggest features, of course, is the fact that it's milled out and ready for uh, your red dots. So you can put your micro red dots on this either for competition or for defensive um, carrier mindset. And let's look at the case here because an important part of buying this package is the fact that it comes with these base plates for your different micro red dots, which really is a huge value adder because one, making sure that you have the right one right off the bat, that you buy the gun. If you have a micro red dot, you can slap it on and you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about finding the right base plates. It's a really nice feature that they thought through. In this little side compartment here, uh, devil's in the details, and they included some pretty cool hardware. There are some of your fiber optics that you can change out. Um, you have the side, this actually side charger that screws into the side here, which is great for competition. It might not be as practical, of course, for a defensive carry, but for those guys shooting this gun for competition, which this is a great platform and because of the trigger and some of the other features which we'll talk about. Um, also, kind of jumping into it, Canik included this oversized magazine release, and these little spacers here are different levels, so you can have that at different depths. Of course, again, giving the gun a lot of versatility, um, whether you want to use it for competition purposes or for defensive purposes. Um, so that's pretty nice. We have uh, an oversized slide release, and this is an ambi slide, slide release. Um, magazine release is not ambidextrous, but that's fine. Um, most people are right-handed. I believe you can swap it out on either side, uh, but it's not 100% all the time uh, ambi. And then let's talk about the trigger. So. For an out-of-the-box factory gun, this is one of the nicer triggers out there for sure, in my opinion. And with this upgraded shoe, it's really, really nice. Your um, kind of trigger safety here is really, really wide compared to, let's say, a Glock that has a little sliver kind of in the center. And I like this because when you put the fig your finger on the trigger, it gives you a really solid feel on it. It's not... Um, it just feels flat. There's nothing kind of in the middle of your finger. For those guys that are familiar with clocks, you probably know what I mean. But the uh, the break on this trigger is phenomenal. There's your reset is very very short, and your break there's there's a, pretty much no creep in it at all. And of course, this is uh, straight from the factory. Important thing to note, guys, if you already have Canic pistols. Uh, they're gonna be selling this sh trigger shoe aftermarket. So let's say you're already shooting an FNX or SFX, I believe is the model. You can buy this trigger on it and upgrade your pistol, which is really nice. Same thing with Salient. You can buy all of these additional parts um, kind of aftermarket and add them to your pistol. This package just comes with it all, which is really nice. A few more things that are in the box real quick are going to be an extra back strap here a little mag 
loader thing. These are pretty simple. We've all seen those. Uh, a wrench, a little cleaning rod, and a little brush. Uh, also important to note that it includes this little magazine, or rather holster. Um, it, it's built pretty robust. It's kind of an interesting way that it works. Make sure it's clear. So it slides in like that. You pull back and out. Back and out like that. So the fact that it comes with a holster out of the box, you have pretty much everything that you need right out of the box, which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some eye and ear protection. Everyone else on the range has some already on. And then we're gonna actually spend some time shooting this gun. Let's talk about magazines. Uh, there's two magazines. It ships with an 18 round magazine and a 15 round magazine. Also another contribu uh, contribution from Canik is the base plate on this magazine. Um, so it's a plus three, obviously giving you 18 rounds. And again, versatility. It's a magazine that you can use for competition, give you that extra capacity, and then a magazine that's more of a flush fit magazine that could be useful if you're gonna be concealed carrying this gun. Um, and you don't want that extra length at the bottom of the gun. So I'll go ahead and just kind of put some targets on, or put some rounds on target here, and uh, give you some of my first impressions. I've already shot this gun a little bit, uh, and it shoots really, really well. Um, one of the main things I want to focus on is, of course, this trigger. And just, um, we'll kind of get a little side view here. She can look at the trigger finger. Hopefully I'm not covering it up too bad. All right, here we go. So that's a couple rounds through it and you can see how precise that trigger really is. There's no creep and then as, as far as the byproduct, byproduct of it, uh, it shoots really, really well. Very accurate gun. The um, fiber optic front sight gives you pretty fast acquisition and, and pretty clear. Some of the other features, guys, uh, you have a loaded chamber indicator. So now that the gun's loaded, you can see that that pops up indicating obviously that there's a round in the chamber and the gun is hot. You also have in the back of the gun kind of a striker indicator. So that's gonna let you know that again, that striker is locked and ready to go and um, the trigger is live. Now another thing that adds to this trigger is the fact that the internals are nickel coated on the trigger bar. So anytime, if you guys have shot a lot of striker fire guns, you may notice that even on most strikers, you're gonna feel a little grit in the trigger uh, as you pull that trigger, and that's actually the trigger bar kind of moving on some metal-to-metal -metal contact points. That nickel coating is really nice because it smooths that out and leads to a really, really accurate trigger. So we'll go ahead and shoot some more, a little bit faster this time. So you can see it shoots really well and smooth. Uh, still with accuracy, you can see the target. It uh, it holds its grips really, really well. Um, even with that little higher pace shooting, we'll just send some more rounds through here. There we go. So the magwells are gonna be really nice on any of your reload that you're gonna be able to get that magazine in really, really close, or really, really quickly. Another great thing about this is it's not uh, an overbearing in size. Uh, it's pretty low key, so this is something that you could carry inside the waistband pretty comfortably. And, um, but it's still gonna help you kind of feed that gun and get that gun back in the fight a little bit faster. Now looking at your slide release here, so that's the 18 rounder in there, obviously giving you uh, a little bit more length on the bottom of the gun. And then your slide release, very, very smooth and works really, really well. So we'll go ahead and shoot through this. So very smooth shooting gun. And guys, so you can completely set this up however you want. Um, again, you can do the uh, speed shooting, more competition if you want to set it up for that. But the threaded barrel also allows for you to um, 
put on a suppressor. Let's say you want this to be your side table gun at night. You can have a suppressor, a red dot, and really kind of tack this thing out. Uh, and it's a really great gun. One thing to note is that the thread pitch on this is left-handed, uh, so it's not your half by 28. Um, so that's a consideration. If you, any of you guys are into, um, into suppressors already and may have some cans, uh, maybe needing an adapter on that. Um, real quick, we'll just look at what it takes to disassemble the gun. Pretty simple, pull back. And then it, on a Glock, um, obviously we're used to taking the slide all the way forward, but Canics are a little bit different. That slide comes kind of off the frame. And you can kind of look at some of the internals there. Um, obviously we've put some rounds through this gun already and it, it's a little dirty, but that's okay. It works really, really well. And then putting it back together is as simple as kind of slapping it on and pulling it back. So just a real quick field strip, that's not too difficult. Um, but that's kind of a, a little look at the uh, salient Canic TP9 Elite Combat, uh, which is, in my opinion, one of the better guns out there. And as far as price range, guys, you're looking at um, mid 700, 750, um, and then you can find them a, a little bit lower than that. But uh, a good priced gun for all the features that you get, most of your competition is going to be priced price probably over that thousand dollar mark so that's why I say this is probably one of your better options as far as price price point and some of the features you're getting if you're interested in it come see us at Royal Range USA here in Nashville Tennessee we carry these in stock uh, and if you have any comments or uh, concerns make sure you leave them in the comment section below if you like the video guys please subscribe and uh, and like our videos it helps us out from Royal Range USA I'm Philip thanks for watching